name is Jennifer McNulty, and I'm here working for Downtown Project to help catalyze a lot of co-working spaces in downtown Las Vegas. It's really uh, a place to come and mind share with other people who are doing cool things and are intellectual and want to learn. So I think it's going to turn out to be really cool. Um, so my name's Oli Marlow and I work with Tilt, so we're a design practice and we work uh, with co-design to design space. So that's why we've been here today working with the community for this Bridger and the industry space. I guess co-working, it came, in some respects, came out of the tech scene. Um, but it's this idea that you can get a group of people who might be different companies, they might um, be individuals with their own companies or they might be part of large organisations, but you bring them together in a, in a single space and collaborations come from that. So everyone is working, but they're working maybe on separate things, and they're working together, and hence this idea that it's, it's co-working. Over 50 countries around the world have co-working spaces, and uh, many, many different uh, varieties, as well as interpretations of what co-working is. I think co-working, as a term, describes a work style, meaning we all work with our laptops, with our mobile devices, and we can just work out of anywhere, as long as there's a Wi-Fi signal. starting to bubble up a little bit. Um, there's a couple other spaces in town, they're very focused on art, and this will be the first one that's really focused on community as a whole. We just try and create activities that begin very simply, so just asking who, who would come to the space, what would, we, what would they do there, just really kind of beginning quite slowly, and then from that, forming it into, into narratives around the space, so scenarios of what could happen in a day, or at least um, the, the mapping of these relationships around these different types of people. So we build those activities, and then from that we go straight back into the emotions. So everyone was invited to bring an object with them, and that object was something that they felt the space needed to embody. It could be something very straightforward and simple, like, you know, it's important that you have music, you know, so you bring a guitar or something like that. Whereas at the same time it could be something that would be uh, metaphorical, so, you, so someone brought um, a lock and they're saying security is important, but at the same time it's about this, about this idea of security as a community, you know, not just locking things up. So that's, you sort of bring that out as well and then from that go into the physical, so you sort of, everything's about emotions and ideas at that point and then you come back to the space itself, people explore the space, they begin to work with their hands and look at uh, modelling and understanding the scale of the space and what's possible to fit in there. And then we sort of work with models and have all of that stuff in front of us and just kind of play with that kind of thing. I'm Sugar Vogel and I have the pleasure to be the director of the Senior Citizens Law Project. We are nothing but excited about what's going to go on in this building and the potentials this historical building can offer downtown.